Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are with the Dacia Spring, the brand new Dacia Spring 2024 facelift. And I have with me the brand new multimedia system from Dacia and I'm super excited to show you how easy it is to connect your iPhone to this new multimedia system. And I hope you will get all the information in this video. I will have a separate video also with the multimedia system. If you wanna see it, check it out on the channel. All the details of the multimedia and of the new digital cockpit will come on the channel soon. If it's not already there check it out first of all what you will need to do is turn on the internet and your phone of course and then go to the Bluetooth and once you go to the Bluetooth settings you have to go all the way down go on the screen right here go on the apps and then device manager add to Bluetooth pair a new device once you go here pair a new device the car will search for your device and it will probably have to be here Dan's iPhone you see it it's my phone and it find me and once you press Dan's iPhone or your phone you wait a few seconds and it will try to connect once uh, it start connecting it will give you a pin and you say pair and then on the phone pair again and then allow the contact to be synchronized and then again probably another question for Apple CarPlay so let's wait a little bit. Yes, use the Apple CarPlay on your phone and you say yes, use the Apple CarPlay. And that's it guys. And then here, you wanna remember, okay, remember my settings. And now it's wireless, you don't even need a cable. You can leave the phone wherever you wanna leave. You have a lot of space in the car where you can leave it. And this is it guys. This is the way to connect your Apple CarPlay to this multimedia system. It's incredible simple. The great part is that you have it all over the screen. It uses the same screen um, uh, image and screen uh, place that it used for the multimedia system. And what I notice is that it's super responsive so that means it has a good hardware behind this uh, new multimedia system from uh, Dacia and it's so so big man it will kill with this thing it's so easy it's so fast to connect and you have basically a super modern multimedia system right here and the great part is that you still have those shortcuts if you want to go back to multimedia on the left side and you can see right here you can go through different settings of the car but still have here on the left side in the middle this icon of the Apple CarPlay and then you can use the map you can even use the voice command from the steering wheel you just press it for three seconds navigate to Paris and then it's, it should work let's try again usually it's working mm -hmm. navigate to Paris And yeah, the voice command, I think the voice, it's, it's off, but you can see it's basically navigating to Paris. I think I have to turn... Starting route to Paris. Yes, you hear that. And Proceed it's working and you have all that right. stuff from the phone right here on the, on the screen of your car. It's just insanely, insanely cool. You can use all other maps, uh, all other apps that you have on the phone, like charging map. You can find all the charging station, like uh, Google Maps, CNBC. I have Blue Share. You can find all the charging stations, Spotify, Waze, a lot, a lot of apps that you have it on your phone. You can use it right here on your car very cool stuff really really cool i love it and you can go so easy back you can ask also how many degrees are outside today so you basically can use the siri yeah i don't know why not why it's not working i think i have to turn on the volume from here but usually it, it should work now guys this is how simple it is to connect it in case you want to disconnect it it's crazy simple you have to do the same thing go to device manager and then delete it from here it's crazy easy love it and super responsive you don't even need the map basically if you don't want to get the map from the uh, car you can use it like that and you just go here and you have all that app carplay or android auto on your phone so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was useful i hope you get some useful information from here if you like it don't forget to like share subscribe i would really appreciate that thank you very much guys to all of you that are watching my videos also check out the full review with the car the test drive will come soon so stay close thank you for watching stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys